Queen Dolls, welcome back to Diva Doll Flawless. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all the process of what I did to create a Dollar Tree Easter basket for my niece. Unfortunately, we are in a very tough time right now, just all over, and everyone has to do the whole social distancing thing. And when it comes to the kids, it's definitely really tough. And I still wanted to be able to give my niece something, even though I won't be able to personally see or be around her for the holiday. So what I did was I took a medium flat rate box that Waverly chalk paint in both white and ballet slippers, and I painted the box. I went in with a coat of white first. I used my heat gun to speed up the drying process. This is really probably, I would say, maybe the longest part of this entire process and even that wasn't long because chalk paint dries really fast so after I painted the box I then went in with another brush with the ballet slippers and I did like a dry brush look because the purpose of this is to make the box look like it's like a faux wood rustic or shabby chic style of box for her and then to tone the pink down, I just took my brush in white again and I went over top of the pink. So that just blended everything really nicely and gave me the texture and look that I wanted for this specific Easter basket. Now, I did start to personalize it after this. It was all dry. So I used my Anna Griffin alphabet dies and I die, die cut my niece's name out of rose gold foil. And that went by really easily. And then I just used my art glitter glue to add her name onto the front of the box i didn't want it to be like a straight line because my niece is five so i still wanted to have a whimsical type of look and then rose is specific to my niece as well so i made sure to use roses as the decor now in my mind, I wanted to make something that my twin would be able to use as a decorative piece for my niece once she's done with all of the Easter goodies that are on the inside. And then around the top, I did use a faux suede scalloped ribbon and it is just gorgeous. And then I did decorate the corners all the corners on a box with another die that I had. I can't remember where that one's from, but it's another die in my collection. And I did cut that out of the same rose gold foil and put it on all of the corners. The bottom of the box also does have some little feet on it. And all I did was just simply hot glue pearls to the bottom so that it would elevate the box and have another decorative finish to it not sure what happened with the footage but here i'm showing you all that the bottom of the box is covered with tissue paper and then on top of the tissue paper i did use this dollar tree easter grass and i only needed one bag of the easter grass and it was more than enough for this medium flat rate box now i would not recommend that you do this with a box that was shipped to your home I have a business, so I have a ton of shipping boxes that are already here and I know where they came from, okay? So that's definitely one tip that I would give you all. Now, as far as the goodies that went inside, thankfully, I am a crafter, so I'm always stocked up with extras. So I added a carrot jump rope, some Elmer's glue, a Elmer's glue stick, and then we took some pencils, grouped those together and tied them with ribbon. Those are a pack of just yellow cotton balls she can use to make her own little bunny rabbits. Um, I really wanted this to be like a crafty type of Easter basket. And I do have to be mindful of any food that we give my niece because she does have food allergies. So I didn't want to fill this up with a bunch of candy. My husband and I made sure that we did things that were going to be interactive and fun for her. So we also included an XO tic-tac-toe game. And then this is a stack of 
pictures that she can color. I did include a page of Easter stickers and then just decorated the top. And then on this side is a coloring kit from the Dollar Tree as well. And that just has some pictures and paint. So it definitely paid to be a crafter during this time because everyone's really having to go the extra mile to make this time really special. Now inside that bag is, I believe, a ring pop and some bubbles. We included some notepads for her because we obviously gave her pencils. These cotton candy peeps were just so adorable and my niece loves color she is such a little glam girly five-year-old <laughs> so i definitely had to make sure that this had the colors that she liked and then those little eggs right there are also from the dollar tree and i included them because she has a little kitchen play set that she likes to play with and we thought that would be fun for her to have in her little kitchen set so here's everything included there's so much more stuff that's actually in here and tucked inside of the other eggs and everything but I think that this will keep her busy for quite some time I it is just it was killing me while I was making this just realizing I'm doing this but I am not going to be able to like see her and hug her and love up on her so I'm just going to have to be content with the fact that you know she she knows that we still were thinking of her we wanted to surprise her with something and then facetime will just have to be beneficial so i hope that this helps give you all some kind of inspiration on something that you can do for the kitties in your life these would be great even if you know you have to celebrate a birthday for a grandchild or niece or nephew in your life and you know, you want to do something sweet and special for them that won't cost too much. So thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Have a gorgeous day, doll. Smooches. Bye.